Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I have an announcement to make, kind of like the Nopu Method announcement. I am going to be trying something very different, at least I think is very different. I got very intrigued after I watched Jen's From Head to Toe, her recent video that she posted. I will link it right here if you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, she was talking about menstrual cups. So, basically, on that note, I am going to be trying menstrual cups. This is kind of a weird thing to talk about, I guess. So this is a little bit TMI-ish topic. So if you don't like it, be sure to exit out, go to a different video. Anyway, so I just got my package and I just want to show you what which one I got. I looked up some reviews and this one seems to be the one that a lot of people use and it's got great reviews. La, la, la. I am going to be trying out the Diva Cup. Uh, this is the Model 1 because I've never had kids before, so they recommend <laughs> the people who haven't had kids yet to use the Model 1. And I know this is a little weird for some of you guys because I don't know who watched, like, for most, I'm sure most of you guys just use tampons and pads, which is what I was using. If you guys watched my haul video with well.ca, I was buying natural tampons, natural pads, and you know, that was working fine. I've read stuff about menstrual cups before, and I like would be like, oh, that just sounds so uncomfortable. It's a cup inside your yourself, and you gotta stick your hands in and like get it out, which is a turn off, I guess. Not a turn off, like it just sounded gross, and I didn't wanna deal with it, I guess. But after watching Jen's video, I was like, oh my gosh, she uses it. I need to try it. Because I, I watch her videos and I love her as a YouTuber and stuff. And there's something about knowing someone that you feel like, you know, like I feel like I know her um, or that like, she's my friend. So like I feel like if my friend was to try it and, you know, they were vouching for this diva cup or like this menstrual cup, I would be more willing to try it. None of my friends where I live use menstrual cups, so I might be the first, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see because you guys know me right now. I am into natural stuff. I'm into green. I'm into eco-conscious brands. It's just better. With the Diva Cup and with the menstrual cups, the idea of it, what's nice is that you're not making a lot of waste because you reuse this and what's great is that you purchase it once a year. Some people use their cups depending on how well they maintain it up to five to 10 years even I've read that which is insane. Usually people use it for like two years or something. So yeah, you're not creating a lot of waste and apparently it makes you not feel like you have your period at all. And that's the one thing that totally got me on this like menstrual cup bandwagon. Jen was saying in her video that you know, when you're wearing a menstrual cup, you don't feel like you're on your period and you don't get like the whole messy ordeal that you usually get when you have your period. And like the smell, I know that's a little much guys. You guys all know what blood smells like. So when blood sits on a pad or like sits in a tampon down there mixed with sweat, whatever you could be doing active stuff or just walking around in general, it gets a little gross down there. But from the stuff that I've read, from the stuff that I've heard, from Jen, menstrual cups has changed everything. And I'm willing to try, and that's the reason why I got it. So I'm going to try the menstrual cup, and if you guys wanna know more about it, let me know in the comments below, and I'll let you guys know how my experience is. I will be honest about it. Um, I bought this myself. I am still very hesitant looking at this thing. Shall I do an unboxing? I haven't opened it yet, so it's still sealed at the top. I'm too lazy to go downstairs and grab scissors. Okay. Oh, I got it going. Yeah. All right. So it comes with this guide right here. Tells you how to use it. Tells you how to fold it. Tells you how to maintain it. Um, yeah. You know, the usual shenanigans. So I'll look at that later. And it also comes with a bag, which is what you store it in. Super cute little pouch. And the next thing is the actual cup. So, oh my God, this is so weird. Keep instructions for future reference. All right, whoa. Oh my gosh, it has like a measuring line. So, right here would be a quarter of an ounce. Right here would be half an ounce. That's half a shot, guys. That's gross, I shouldn't have said that. Anyways, um, this is the menstrual cup, so. Well, that's weird. I'll be trying this out. I mean, I don't need to right now. Um, from what I heard, people say cut the tip because the tip is annoying. Okay, that's pretty much the end of my video. This is getting a little weird and awkward. If you guys are gonna try menstrual cup or if you're thinking about it, 
Go watch Jen's video from head to toe. Um, she talks about it and it's super, super convincing for me and I'm very, very excited to use this in a weird way because I was intrigued before but now I'm very, very intrigued and very excited because from what she's told me. So I'm hoping it'll all go as planned and if it is, I'll let you guys know. And until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe, guys. See ya!